So what are we going to be talking about a year from now on this very stage? Because we're going to get this panel again. <laughs> Good question. Well, I, yeah, I think one of the, um, the clearly, you know, this, this session is about apps, and which means it's largely about smartphones. And uh, I think there's a revolution going on in that, in the smartphone category. I mean, when, you know, the, the, origin, the uh, iPhone 3G is now $99, the BlackBerry uh, has dropped a number of their uh, devices to below $100. I mean, um, you know, 13-year-olds have smartphones now. So uh, I think the distinction between feature phones and smartphones is largely becoming irrelevant and that everything is moving towards, the trend is that everybody is moving towards these higher capability devices. Um, and uh, I think um, next year it will be even more apparent that um, really there's, uh, there, is no, uh, there is no long tail in terms of the feature phones. It is all moving in this direction. Okay, Bill? Um, yeah, I, I think next year um, we're gonna be talking about um, the beginning of convergence. We'll be, we'll, there'll be iframes on phones. Uh, there'll be good flash um, adoption on phones. Um, so we'll start to, we'll be talking about the beginning of, um, oh, I can build an ad and it runs everywhere. Um, but I think for now, um, and even you know, during next year, um, customers are gonna be relying on you know, companies who are really good at building that app for all the platforms. and, and they know enough about each platform to make it work in each place, or uh, companies who have uh, you know, done a lot of uh, work up front to make it easy for an advertiser to run an ad across the platforms and so forth. Okay. I don't predict the future <laughs> as a matter of, as a general rule, but I'll tell you what I hope uh, to see. I don't lie. Um, you know, location you talked about, it's it's available and it's massively underused and where it is used, it's used in a very sort of uh, simple way. Deliberate. Deliberate way, expository way. Um, there are a lot of things you can do with all the data that's getting generated in the world. And uh, you know, there are some really interesting, um, you know, I mean, I, I, I tend to, as I know you do, tend to look at the gaming world and see what they're doing with these uh, new capabilities. I mean. Some of the new uh, Nintendo handheld stuff is really taking advantage of location in interesting ways to create real immersive experiences. Um, you know, augmented reality is the sort of shiny object of the day, but in a mobile context, it actually starts to make tons and tons more sense, both as an information source, but also as a, as a way of, of creating richer experiences. It starts to overcome some of the limitation you get going from a big screen uh, as a monitor to a smaller screen on your iPhone or smartphone or whatever it might be. And I'm glad that there's competition in the space yeah. um, because it's going to push all of these groups. I mean, I hope the Pre does well, even though I'm an iPhone, personally, and I'm an iPhone user. I, I'm sort of rooting for Palm from the good old days. And, um, and, and I think it's good because it just, you know, I mean, the, the 3.0 release of iPhone, you know, everybody's talking about cut and paste, but I almost think that's the red herring for all the new APIs they opened up, the hardware uh, connectivity that they're allowing for. I mean, there's some really, really amazing stuff that hasn't, we haven't even begun to scratch the surface of.